Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to add labels to individual bars using parameter actions in Tableau. For this, we'll be using Sample Superstore dataset. Let's get started. As you can see in this dashboard, we are showing total sales by month for Sample Superstore dataset. And if we hover over to each individual bar, you can see the label shown at the top of each bar. So that's what we are going to learn today, how we can do that. And this can be useful for any type of charts using parameter actions. You can use this in heat maps. You can do this in line charts, bar charts, area charts, any sort of charts. You can apply the same logic to achieve similar results. So for this, we'll be using sample store data set. So let's start from a blank workbook. Okay. So here is a plain, clear workbook. And let's connect to sample superstore data set by going to data tab and creating a new data source. And we go to sample superstore data set. And here, first of all, we will be bringing sales to the row shelf and order date to the column shelf. And we will change the order date to month year uh, as a continuous pill. And you can see it's a continuous line chart. So we will change it to bar chart. And you can see how we can see all the bars across the time period from January 2016 to December 2019. And then we will be creating a parameter for other date and for this we'll be selecting data type as date and date we'll be picking up any date for the month of 2018 and we will click OK and another field which we need to create is for um, calculating the date and comparing it with the parameter which we have just created. So we will just say it, give it the name label for order date. And for this, we will be creating date trunk calculation. And we are, we have, as we have selected month here, so we'll be converting it into month and we'll say order date oh, so we okay so let's let's do this this way equal to date trunk month and order date which is our dimension date and we will say if this equal to this then I want sales and so what we will do now we will bring this calculation into label marks and you will see we got the value here 39 grand 262 for the month of July 2018 which is our parameter which we have selected so if we show parameter control and you can see we have selected the same month which is July 2018 and it's giving us this value for sales so what we can do here is just do a bit of formatting and we want it as a dollar value so we will change it like this and we want to increase the label size let's keep it something more visible let's keep it 12 and right now, if we hover over, you will see that it's not showing the label on individual bars. So first of all, we remove all the tooltips. We don't need it here. So for that, it's happening because the action is not set up on this workbook. So how we can set it up? Let's see that. So go to the workbook menu tab and click on actions and then add a new actions for changing the parameter. And just give it a name um, add label action and we will say target parameter as order date and field is month and we just click it on hover over you can do the same thing on select action as well run action on select as well so click ok 
and if you hover over to each bar you will see that the label is only visible for those bars so that's how we can create that and as i mentioned earlier you can use this for any sort of chart from line chart to heat map to area chart whichever you want you can use the same functionality and logic to do this thing so now let's create a dashboard and bring this workbook in there so we can just simply drag it into the workbook uh, into the dashboard and we just format it and you will see here you won't be able to see the action working because we set it up at workbook level in order to bring that into dashboard you need to set it up again so go to the dashboard menu item and click on actions and add a new parameter action and just bring it the same way we did earlier and we do it on hover over and click OK. And when you hover over, you will see those values happening. See, it's working fine. So that way we can add labels to any chart using parameter actions. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys next time. Enjoy.